What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Moon walkthrough. Okay, so here we are. We're about to capture Growlithe. I was looking for this guy for quite some time. I was hoping to get him in the last episode, but that was no success. And good gravy. We're about to get roared right here. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and just capture this guy. Let's go ahead and uh, throw a nest ball at this guy right here. So, yeah, in our last episode, we completed the... Uh, well, not completed, but we just explored a, the majority of Route 2 with everything in it, with the whole trainers and whatnot. And there you go, we caught ourselves a Growlithe. And, you know, the collection just keeps on getting bigger and bigger, guys, with, you know, vintage Pokemon that we used in the past. And, well, look at this. We got ourselves a Pokemon that we desperately need. We, def we definitely want. And look at this. We got ourselves a Growlithe. Now... Where does Growlithe fit in all of this? Well, eventually we're going to be switching them up here and there, you know, with different kinds of Pokemon. But Growlithe is a very good Pokemon to actually have right here. As, as you can see, it looks cute, but when you approach another trainer's Growlithe, it will bark at you and bite you. So what we're going to do is, yes, we're going to give this guy a nice nickname. You guys already know, I bequeath you Buttkiss, because... Actually, Buttkiss. That's there. There we go. Buttkiss. Named after Rocky Balboa's uh, dog that he had in the very first two movies. That guy. And, well, we're going to be adding this guy to the party right here. Now, this is also the first game to actually give you that option to swap out Pokemon. And so, we're going to be swapping out Mischievous for this Pokemon right here. And, you know what? We're just going to continue on right here. Take it on some more Pokemon trainers. I think there was one trainer we did not battle, but, well, get to them in just a little bit now let's see there is something right here and that is a few berries now in the last episode I did mention that not all berries are just there for the taking there will be a Pokemon hiding under there and well if you take a look at this we found ourselves a Lepa berry and well here's a person berry not bad and here we go another Lepa berry which is great so we didn't get attacked yet, but eventually we will at some point. Now, we can't go past right here because we haven't done our totem stuff. So let's go straight right here. And as you can see, Lima is here. And she is saying, greetings, Captain Lima here. And my trial begins in mere steps from here in Verdant Cavern. Note that the Pokemon living in Verdant Cavern are quite fierce. I wouldn't venture in unless you're prepared for it with some potions and so forth. Through attempting the trials during the island challenge, one can exceed his or her, her limits. That is what the Alolan people believe. Once you enter Vernon Cavern, you will not be able to leave until you completed this trial. Are you prepared? Yes, I am. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, so this is basically... This is basically like a gym battle. Kind of like a gym battle, and your prize, of course, your prize, of course, is a, well, a, I guess a, a, a crystal, a Z crystal. Now, I gotta heal my Pokemon. I gotta heal my Pokemon because I did just capture, uh, I did just capture our Bud Kiss right here. And I do not want to go in there and heal prepared now. I already have a full team, and this is the reason why you guys are not seeing any kind of, like, team members on the bottom floor because... Again, we're going to be, you know, using a variety of Pokemon, and luckily for me, I do have Pokemon Sun, which I got my Puka from, and we're going to be trading back and forth, training Pokemon as, as often as possible. That way, you know, we keep up with everything else. Now, what I'm trying to do here is I'm actually going to try and get a little bit more, uh, a little more potions right here now. Wow, they are cheap. They are not... Okay, so you know what? I've already got enough potions as it is. Let's go and take on this trial right here let's go let's go let's go okay so let's go for the trial and wow that is uh that is a uh, that is awesome right there so we're walking in and this is looking like some banjo kazooie kind of stuff and well let's see what do you got to say okay so you is like let me formally welcome you to Verdant Cavern. I am your Captain Ima. Allow me to explain the basics of my trial. What you should attempt to do is... Oh damn, it's a uh, little Radita. The hell? 
Defeat three of the Pokemon that lurk here in the dens. Then reach the pedestal instead deep within the cave and collect the Z crystal from there. You'll need to completely save, or you need to be in complete sync with your Pokemon to succeed. Oh damn! Oh dear. And there's one more thing I forgot to mention. Many strong Pokemon make their home in this cave, but one stronger and more fiercer than the, all the rest, known as the Totem Pokemon, also resides here. It will be the greatest obstacle you face as you attempt to clear my trial. By the way, until you clear my trial, you will not be able to re catch a Pokemon in the Verdant Cavern. This is, this is but one of the seven trials you'll be facing during your island challenge. And it begins now, the trial of Captain Ima. So here it is, trial number one. And if there's something that I need to tell you guys is that make sure to have a fighting type Pokemon for this. And that is, is something awesome because we got ourselves Yokozuna. This is the reason why we got Yokozuna. So let's go right ahead and find these Pokemon right here now. Small cave and yes sorry we're getting attacked by a pokemon now there is an item up there it is a tm and it is going to be beneficial for us once we get it so let's go ahead and put out geokozuna here Alrighty, both a normal and dark type pokemon this is going to be easy for us here comes a quick attack and wow that is a, a lot of hp right there bam we're taking it on bam Look at that, sumo wrestling at its finest. Say goodbye to Rodita, and well, there's more experience points for all of us. Dump Truck gets some more points, and it wants to learn Disable. So, let's go right ahead and, you know, take away Harden right here. Don't really mind, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so there we go. Now, there is a bit of a difference in Pokemon Sun and Moon. I believe in Sun, you actually have to go up against Young Gooses. In Moon, as you can see right here, you're taking on some Raditas. So let's go right ahead and uh, well, grab some items. We got some, we got a Super Potion, which is great. And go ahead and grab them, uh, or battle some more Pokemon right here. And Well, you get attacked by this guy right here, but it's not going to count as maybe the Totem Pokemon. Maybe. It could count. Probably. I don't know. Can it? Will it? I don't know. And, well, let's go right ahead and use the same thing. Arm thrust for the win. But here comes a quick attack. And, wow, that was a critical hit right there. So, here we go. Arm thrust, kicking some butt, taking some names. Look at that. Say goodbye to Radita. And that's more experience points for all of us. And Yango, or Yokozuna grows to level 13 right here. And it wants to learn Force Palm. Okay, so we're... we're Okay, well, we're working with something right here. Probably a great thing that we actually picked them up along the way. So this is good right here. This, this, this is, this is perfect. Okay, so let's see. So we still got one more Pokemon to defeat, so that did count. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here, because we do not want to have a uh, Yokozuna faint right here. It is our last hope, by the way. So let's see. Go up here. And let's go ahead and grab that item. That is a very special item right here. So let's grab it. And here we have the TM31 Brick Break, which will actually come in handy. So let's go ahead and teach our Pokemon right now some Brick Break right here. And luckily for us, Yokozuna is the only one that can learn this move. So, let's see. We got Force Palm. Oh, yes. Okay, so Arm Thrust has done as well. But now we got to go with the big guns just to beat this Pokemon right here. And the cool thing about it is that it can break barrier and light screen if it was actually used. And I do not know why I did that. So here we have one more Pokemon to go. And, well, let's see. We've got to find this guy. we got to find... Okay, so there's an item right there. And the last Pokemon is going to be up there. So let's see. we got to go up here. So crawl through this space right here. Grab this, and we found ourselves another super potion. And let's jump down and let's look inside, and nothing inside. Yeah, this guy is, uh, yeah, he, he's he's running away from us right here. So let's see. 
Let's see where we're at. Okay, so there's nothing inside, and yeah, he is a... Uh, yeah, he, he's playing with us right now, so let's go ahead and see what happens if we go to the other side right here. And, okay, let's go here, and... Nothing inside. He's gone back. What the hell's going on here? Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this. The X defense is actually going to be a, something very useful, and, well, let's see. I'm going to go uh, back up to him. Nope. Oh, wow. Team Skull. And they're like, yo, yo, yo. It's your Barry Thief, boys. Back, back again. Remember us? Uh, I'm just going to be like, sorry, who are you? <laughs> oh, I see. Just because we switch places, you can't tell who we are anymore? <laughs> who cares about that anyways? We're, uh, we're here to mess this trial up, yo. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yo, let's get that Pokemon, homie. What the hell's going on right here? Oh, wow, what's going on? Okay, what's with the moves, homie? Okay, so if I had to pick a team, because I like to say homie a lot, it would probably have to be Team Skull because... Yeah, so here we go, another Team Skull battle against this Grunt right here. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Drowsy, so this is not going to be good for me right now. So i got to conserve Yokozuna and switch it out to the big guns the big guns right here. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon and go straight for uh, Puka right here. Or no, not Puka, but uh, Poplio or Joker. Let's go with Joker right here. What's up? And here comes a pound attack. Not so effective. Let's go. Water at, or Aqua Jet. And look at that. Aqua Jet does its thing. So here comes another pound attack. So it's just going to be a like a physical attack after a physical attack. But here we go. Water gun attack. Let's go. Bam. It hits it pretty hard right there. So we're about to beat this guy. Coming out with another pound attack. Let's hit this guy one more time with an aqua jet. And don't necessarily know why I need that. But here comes the aqua jet for the win. And, well, there's more experience points, and Joker grows to level 16. I hope it does evolve. And our team, of course, growing more levels than usual. So there we go. Team Skull has been defeated. What now? Okay, so it looks like our Pokemon does not evolve yet. What's up with that? For real, though, I can't get my skull around it. This kid is mad strong, yo. Hmm. Nah, it ain't even like that. This kid is straight up dangerous, homie. I don't know, man. Isn't this whole place trouble? Yeah, it totally is, homie. I mean, that thing is so strong that regular Pokemon don't even want to come out and battle. Hm. Okay, alright. So, yeah, I think I picked my team. Team Skull is me. And what the hell are you doing, man? Yo, kid. You know that there's a mad strong Pokemon looking back there here somewhere, right? I'd run if I were you. Uh, nah, we're not going out like that. We're gonna get our revenge. Go stand over to the den and catch that skulking uh, Rattata, yo. For real, fine. I got no bones to pick with you. Okay, okay, alrighty. So, don't necessarily know what he meant, but that's fine. Okay, so, yeah, we gotta get to this guy. And, well, they're doing us a favor right here by blocking the, the entranceways for this Rattata. So, let's go ahead and get this guy. And, yes, this Rattata is not happy that we found him. Okay, oh, that's a Raticate. So here we go with the Raticate. And, well, good thing for us that we learned uh, Brick Break because this would have been a far different story. So here we go, Brick Break for the win. And here comes a Tail Whip from, well, Alolan Raticate. This guy has some chubbier cheeks than the regular Raticate. And, bam, Raticate, eat that. Say goodbye. Okay. And just like that, we grow to level 14 for Yokozuna. And, well, everybody else is getting some points. Puka. Budkiss. And Budkiss wants to learn Odor Sleuth. What does it learn right now? Well, don't want Roar, so let's go ahead and take away that. And bam. Okay, so Odor Sleuth it is. And, well, we've defeated all three Raditas, or three Pokemon. 
Now we are enabled to actually go to the totem Pokemon right here. Now, there is one thing that I kind of want to do, and that is... Yokozuna is not the fastest Pokemon, so let's go ahead and take that away and give the held item... Actually, hold on, it's not holding anything, so let's go ahead and give it a held item. We should have moved it, wow. Okay, so let's go with the Quick Wall right here, give it to the Pokemon. That way it'll be a little faster. And, well, let's go ahead and restore some of uh, the HP for Joker right here. So, let's see, Potion. Potion's always good. And there we go. So, let's go ahead and uh, move on with our little adventure right here. See if this guy moves out of the way. Okay, so if you defeat all three of these Pokemon, this guy's going to be like, I am the trial guide here to help uh, young boys and girls attempt the Island Challenge. Fantastic. You prove your strength on all three Pokemon. Then go right inside. Okay, so it is time. Now, again, this is kind of like a gym battle. You're going to be taking on some strong Pokemon right here. And, well, the last thing you need to do is grab the Z Crystal. You feel a piercing gaze that seems to cut right through you. But where? Will you take the Z Crystal from the pedestal? Yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh damn, that's a that's a big ass Raticate. The totem Pokemon of the Verdon Cave has appeared. Okay, so here it is, guys, our very first totem Pokemon, and it is Totem Raticate. And when it is a totem Pokemon, it just goes Super Saiyan right here. Its defense has gone up. So here we go, going up against Totem Raticate. Now, if you are playing Pokemon Sun. You will be going up against Totem uh, Young Goose, I believe, or Totem, well, the evolved form of Young Goose, which would probably be, hold on just a sec, I am looking through it, to uh, Totem Gumshoes. And, well, eventually it calls out any of the, uh, it, it eventually it calls out Pokemon to help them. In this situation, Alolan Raticate would call out its Alolan Radita, its SOS uh, ally, basically. Now, in the Pokemon Sun, Gumshoes would call out Young Goose and all that stuff. So, here we go. Let's get, let's just get right through it. Let's go with the Brick Break. And here comes a Tail Whip, trying to weaken our defenses right here. He is literally going Super Saiyan, but here comes a Brick Break for the win. And that's how you do it, guys. Literally, that is how you do it. You get yourself a fighting type Pokemon and bam. Wow. Dump truck grows a level. Everybody grows a level. And look at that. Do the truffle shuffle, man. Do the truffle shuffle. Okay. Eradicate disappeared back into the cave somewhere. What an incredible trainer you are. For you were able to defeat such a, or the totem Pokemon that I had trained up so such a powerful state. I don't know what this, I can say. Working in harmony with your Pokemon, you have cleared the trial of Emu. You're a phenomenal trainer. Congratulations, Draven. The Z Crystal from the pedestal is now yours. Okay, so there it is, guys. This is basically our badge. Throwing out a peace sign, I guess. Throwing out that peace sign. So there it is, guys, our very first Z Crystal. And that is the Normalium, I think. Look at that. Trial complete. Look at that. My Fist of Fury. That is awesome. Okay, so what happens here? So you've obtained the Normalium Z. And of course, you open up the Z Crystal's pocket and you put the Normalium Z away. Okay, I don't even have to read that one. Okay. So after you get the Z Crystal. The quote-unquote gym leader right here will tell you what you have received is normal, the normal Z crystal. It is known as Normalium Z. Now, if you let a Pokemon that can use a normal type move hold that, they usually do some kind of pose. And strike an elegant pose like this one, then you will be able to strengthen a normal type move and by unleashing a normal type or the Z power. Moving right along... Ah, yes. First, there is one thing I forgot to mention. The totem Pokemon. In every locale where a captain holds his or her trials, you will encounter a particularly strong Pokemon like Raticate just now. And during battles such uh, against Pokemon, they may summon allies to shore up their offense. 
It's not a tactic uh, often seen in other regions. Perhaps Pokemon in Alola are simply more inclined to help one another. Since you have managed to defeat the totem Pokemon and proved yourself, you can now try and catch any Pokemon that you find here in this cave. In fact, I have some Great Balls. Okay, so we get ourselves 10 Great Balls, which is great. That is good. And... Well... And here, let me see to your Pokemon after all their hard work in here. And we're gonna get yield. Yes. Okay. If we're done here, I have something interesting I'd like to show you. Come with me at Route 3. Okay. Alrighty, so... Look at that, guys. That's our first totem Pokemon. And you know what? We gotta take a look at this. Um, I'm gonna go to the bag right here. And I think it's... Yeah, it's at the very end. So the Normali Normalium Z converts Z or it converts Z power into crystals the upgrade normal type Pokemon moves now you can give this to a Pokemon that is compatible to this eventually it's kind of like a Gigantamax it will just boost up an attack and just destroy somebody now there are about seven or how many crystals completely forgot maybe 11 crystals like uh, I could be wrong Com comment down below guys but there are quite a few crystals that you can actually find right here in the Alola region there, there will be at least maybe two or three, maybe four, four crystals that are, that are uh, personalized to different Pokemon. Like one personalized to a Pikachu, one personalized to an Eevee, hell, even one personalized to the Totem Pokemon. And obviously we're going to get attacked right here by multiple ends. Kind of want to get the heck out of here. And look at that, we're getting attacked again. Okay, alrighty, so yes, we do not want any of that stuff right now. So, let's get the heck out of here. Yokozuna has done its job right here. Now, again, this is the main reason to why we don't have anything on the bottom of this screen right here. Because the Pokemon that I will be choosing, they're going to be varying from time to time. It's just, you know, it's just me doing my own thing right here. Uh, I will be capturing Pokemon off screen, training them up and all that crud, and then, you know, bringing them out here just so we can help us out. This is this is going to be a walkthrough not like any other that we, we've encountered, guys. Uh, you guys see me in Pokemon Sword and Shield, and obviously you see two different teams. Two different teams, one from Sword and one from Shield, two different starters and all that stuff. And it's the same thing with other versions, but right here in the, the Alola region, it looks like to me that we're going to be using a nice amount of Pokemon that we've used in the past. Just to help us get through this whole area right here. So there's going to be a lot of cameos, guys. And good gravy. We need, a we need a repel and all that stuff. So, okay, so we've gotten out of there and, well, Ilium, or Ilian, or I don't even know how to say the name. I'm probably just butchering the name. Greetings, Captain Ima, Ima here. As you uh, or as you travel around the islands of Alola, you will find Captain's Barricades here and there. These barricades help mark areas where particularly strong Pokemon can be found. Anyone can pass through them, of course, if they are escorted by a strong trainer. Those attempting the island challenge can pass the barricades as long as they clear the trials. Are you ready? Then behold the power of the captain. And just like that, the barricades are open. And we are free to go into the next section of this whole island right here, which is in Route 3. Voila! Your world has just got a little bit bigger. I am the only captain here on Mele Mele Island, meaning my trial is the only one here. Now that you have cleared the trial, please inform our island Kahuna Hala. Okay, alrighty. And before we leave, the shirtless professor himself... Professor Kukui is looking at us all weird and all that stuff, and he's going to be like, Hey there, Draven. Oh, looking at that expression of I Ima's uh, face, I'd say you clear the first trial, yeah? Guess I better give you a little reward. Time to learn about the Z-Power. Woo! Start off by selecting a comp uh, compatible Z-Crystal from the Z-Crystal pocket in your bag, yeah? Then use the Z-Crystal you choose on a Pokemon. Z crystals are compatible with Pokemon if it knows a move at the same time with the crystal. Have you, your Pokemon hold the Z crystals and you'll be able to use Z power for in battles. And don't worry, you can use Z crystals over and over as many times uh, as on as many Pokemon as you want. Okay, alrighty. So let's see. He's gonna be showing us right now how these things work, right? Watch and learn, cousin. 
Oh god. More tutorial videos. You gotta love them. You really do. Okay, so here he is. Oh crud, he's gonna be taking on a Growlithe. And he's coming in with his Rock Ruff. Now, look what he does right here. Now, he's gonna go straight into the battle and he's holding a Normalium Z Crystal right here. So now you got the option to press this button and just overkill someone. There are two moves right here, Brick Break, Blizz, Blitz, and well, he's gonna be doing the pose. Look at that. Turning Super Saiyan himself. And the Pokemon itself, too, turning Super Saiyan right here. Look at this. Okay, so it unleashes the full force of the Z-Crystal. And here comes a Brickneck or Brickneck Blitz. And look at that. Oh, wow. Holy crap, and it is done. And, well, poor Growlithe. It was just an experiment. Means to an end and all that stuff. So that is how you use the uh, Z-Crystal right there. Holy crud. Z-Powers heap of all of uh, trainer's feelings onto a Pokemon, yeah? Which is to which totally wears you out. Using a using Z-Power once per battle is all a team can handle, yeah? Oh, so is that is that why you've been looking so ragged, Professor? Oh, shots fired! No, it's like I was hit with amnesia. I forgot that I lost Lil uh, Lily somewhere in Route 3. Think you could spare some time and help me look for her, Draven? I can go and have a look around the cave for you in case you wandered that way. Thanks, cousin. Let's split up and find her, yeah? Okay. So, there there we go, guys. That is the very first of many, uh, you know, trials and all that stuff. Off screen, I will be capturing some more Pokemon for the collection. You know, I have my eye on a Zubat that I will be calling Talks of Batman. All that stuff. But in the next episode, we will be going through Route 3, and yeah, we're going to be exploring a lot more into this whole thing right here, guys. Trust me, this is going to be a long adventure, and there's going to be a lot of cameos from a lot of different Pokemon. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.